Hello everyone, today I work on a wood panel and this one is already uh, gessoed and I use this paper stencil to get this pigeon down on one stencil you have this solid part and then uh, down you see I um, put some stripes on to secure it I will use when that's dry this shape part as well to put that on top and I actually did this page for a reason you know one morning I went to work and it was starting quite early and in this park surrounding our office I found a remain of, of a pigeon was really in a bad state uh, half eaten by I think it was predatable but it must have been and I felt so sorry for it you know and I picked up one feather and this came to my mind I had already this picture in my mind you know and then I started when I went home I started to work on it and I would want to keep all this or the whole panel in in a grayish tone and or color bit of white on top a little bit of blue as you can see here and the same um, I put in or mix in with modeling paste to get a bit of texture to um, get this this feeling what I got I was quite a bit yeah disturbed by by looking at that and I felt so sorry for it's nature I know that's absolutely normal but you know when you see that in the morning just sun or it was just light and I felt a bit disturbed so okay um, to get a bit of texture down I use this silicone catalyst to uh, go through the modeling paste on top up and down stripes and I th think I will yeah, put the feather down took me a while to find out where to put it and I put it down with modding paste and I will after I fiddled around and got the feather right there yeah looks good yeah okay it's down now uh, went through the modeling paste on top to equalize it with the stripes going down I went over the shapes again to define it a bit more with my uh, Copic marker and I use this Derwent Intense pen to get some shading, neutral grays that, to get some shadings around the pigeon. I think I use different grays, even though that's inside, but I think I use it for outside, for the outside as well, for shading. And a pit pen, big brush, I use as well, and I think the white one as well. So different grays, you can see them laying around there. And I give it an eye, of course, needs an eye. And what else did I do? More shading with different media. With the pit, pit pen, the big brush, I um, quite like to use it. And I put it down, go over with a water tank brush to blend it out, as I do here as well at the end. I go around and give the whole shape a bit of definition again, a bit of white reflection on top and I used a bit of, um, what was it, oil pastels on top there as well. So I put some acrylic, that's acrylic paint in black, around the, the edges and put the word down with this stencil that's one of my paper stencils as well and I use the word victim of course because I thought yeah it was a victim in that case that's what I felt about it bit of definition around the letters and shading of course I use my Stabilo in black and I think I activated with my water tank brush yeah, I did for shading so, and then I thought it needs a bit more texture on top, so I went over it with black acrylic, a tiny bit of glaze in there, glaze not, 
glaze, the acrylic glaze, and I think I waited a, not in long enough before I removed it. I wanted to have more black in the creases, so I went over it again with my fingers, a bit of black paint, and then take it off again with a baby wipe. And that's what you can see now, that was what I wanted to achieve, because the road is not that clean and grey. It's a bit of dirt in there, and it was a dirty situation, so... And um, uh, because it was blood involved, I thought a bit of red. I wanted to use a bit of red around the feather, and uh, that's it. You know, when I showed my hubby this picture, I always show him my stuff, and he said, oh gosh, that looks disturbing. And I thought, yeah, great, that's what I wanted to achieve, and that's what I felt when I found this, um, this scene, you know. So and this is a close-up. At the end, you want to, you will see... Um, some still photos and yeah thanks a lot for watching i hope i didn't disturb you too much but that's something i really wanted to do and i thought a lot along if i will show it or not but i think it's not always cute and nice that's life and nature so thanks for watching hope i see you with my next project have a nice time guys bye bye